Gretchen Kirchman here for the ride.com. With Jason Hetland, what a great round three it was. And there's a ton of stuff to recap. You know, it was amazing. And so you're going to kick off with bareback riding. I sure am. You know, uh, we talked about him last night. It seems to be the theme this year at the NFR is things happen in twos. Because once again, just like last night, Stephen Peoples wins it with an 85 and a half. So it was cold outside, chilly temperatures. I thought it was going to snow, but the hot ticket in town had Luke Branquino's face on it, and he ended up coming back with a 3.6 and winning the steer wrestling tonight. You know, it was pretty amazing because there was three three eights. He came in 13th position, and that moved him up to fourth. So that moved us right into team roping. Team roping, we had a three-way tie. A time of point 4.2 ended up winning it, and the Minor Brothers were among the others, Jim Ross Cooper and his partner. And it'll be amazing to see, because last time he proposed to his girlfriend, so I asked him if he was getting married on stage tonight. <laughs> and what was his answer? No, he was uh, dated her for six years. He's hoping to be engaged for six years. Oh, so he doesn't want to give up all the rights quite yet. <laughs> all right, so what does that do for saddle bronc riding? <laughs> saddle bronc riding. I love this because it's a long-time friend of mine, Wade Sundell from Box Hole Mile, took home the saddle bronc riding. Huge score, 86 points aboard uh, Big Muddy. And uh, Wade was having a good time with us. If you see uh, on the video earlier, um, he said, well, I had a feeling earlier today that it was going to get a little rowdy last night, and I asked him if there was going to be any Pendleton left, and he doubted it. So we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> you know, a shout out Tyler Corrington, Hastings, Nebraska, got his first paycheck. He ended up placing second and took home $14,000. Moved us right into barrel racing. It was a fast night in barrel racing, a 13.67 with Taylor Jacob. I'm sorry, that was a 13.65. A 13.95 didn't even get you money tonight. That's, that's crazy. And to think of it, her she's an NFR rookie, and she – in a third round of her NFR career, takes home $18,000. All right, so another story. Cody Ohl came in, roped his calf in 6.7 seconds. He brought down the house. It was so nice to see the veteran back here in the winner's circle. One of the neat things he did was he threw his pegging string during the victory lap, and I happened to go meet the couple that caught it. This is the first time they've been to the National Finals Rodeo. They're from Texas, and this was their second go-round that they won. I'll take out the picture of them later today. That's fantastic, and ending out the night, bull riding. There wasn't much. There was four rides tonight. Only, Only four. Only four rides. The bulls were fantastic. Shane Proctor won the first two go rounds, and we're waiting on an injury report. He came off pretty awkwardly, and uh, it doesn't look like it affected him. But I'm sure once the adrenaline wears off, it probably will. So we're going to wait on an injury report from Shane Proctor. But the guy that took it home is Cody Campbell, an Oregon Cowboy, 90-point ride tonight. Those Oregon Cowboys are really getting some big paychecks here. They sure are, you know. And uh, just like we talked about last night, I think by the, the end of night 10, everybody that's here is going to be taking home some sort of money. All right, Jason, so I have to tell you what I've noticed. I've noticed that the women have really stepped up in the fashion industry, and lots of them are wearing hats with feathers in them. I saw a few peacock feathers come out of the arena. Yeah, you know, and uh, uh, I, I, I had the Brazils on, on the show earlier today down here, and she was wearing some pretty blingy and feathery hat band, and she actually told me, she goes, Jason, I think I need to take this off because it's going to be blinging out too much in the light. So she took it off just for the interview. <laughs> well, that's amazing. We're looking forward to bringing you all the action as the Wrangler National Finals continues here in Las Vegas. This is Gretchen Kirchman for theride.com.